Remember who tracked down Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? He was an Indian dude with a flamboyant title, Lord Baltimore. He could detect signs that others couldn't even recognise. Following footprints and broken twigs, he created a picture when others only saw chaos. And he was so good that not only did he know what the outlaws had just done, but he could forecast what they were about to do next. In economics, if you want to predict the future, you have to be something of an Indian scout. The forecaster must be the tracker who can look at the signs, the data, and see what actually is happening in the economy and what is likely to happen in the future. Today, big data is revolutionizing this game. Every time you go online, you leave a small footprint that tells us what you're into, what you're searching for, what you're buying, at what price, even the time of the day you're online, and of course, where exactly you are in the world. Now this is a cyber treasure trove. It's a bank vault of information. So where do you find all this data? Dundeal is Ireland's largest online exchange with over one million unique sellers per year, placing two and a half million different ads. And that's a huge amount of information. That's a huge amount of data to mine. It's Ireland's grand bazaar, but it's a cyber bazaar. So how does all this apply to Ireland's biggest domestic industry, agriculture? In the old days, we had farmers going to the local mart. Now we have them on their tractors, scrolling down on their tablets for the best deal at the 21st century iMart. Dundeal is the new marketplace. It had over a quarter of a million farming ads this year alone, with a total value of over 20 million euros, and it's expanding by the day. Now, agriculture is a huge business. Forget all this hipster talk about Google and Twitter and Facebook in Dublin. Farming is still Ireland's biggest indigenous industry. It's worth 24 billion euros to the economy, 10% of all our exports are agricultural, and it employs close to 300,000 people. And farmers are buying and selling online like never before. And when we add all this activity up, it tells us something spectacular about the future, because every 10% increase in farming activity on done deal this month coincides with a 10% increase in agricultural output in two months' time, and the correlation is almost perfect. And as monthly agricultural output is the basis for agricultural GDP, increased activity on done deal helps tell the future path of income to farmers in the year ahead. And drilling down a little bit deeper, we even see that more buying and selling of tractors in any month can tell us that the overall activity index is changing, and this is driving agricultural output in the months and even the quarters ahead. Tractornomics, anybody? The Dundeal Index is our canary in the coal mine. It's our Lord Baltimore. It's a short-term crystal ball allowing us to look into the future and predict where Irish farming is likely to go. So what you might say, well, like Lord Baltimore, we are seeing things before other people. The buying and selling patterns every day online reveals what farmers are thinking, what they're buying, whether they're confident about the future, what their commitment to cash is in the business, and how they think next year is going to go. Done deal activity is highly correlated with agricultural output. So rather than wait until next year's evidence, we can use the footprints left by hundreds of thousands of farmers in the cyber bazaar to predict the near future. And by knowing what the farmer is thinking today, we can tell you what he is likely to be doing next year or even the year after. Dundeal data allows us to be the Lord Baltimores of today, tracking signs that are invisible to others, assessing patterns in the data, joining up the dots and seeing into the future, and knowing what the farmer is likely to do even before he does, and understanding where Ireland's biggest industry is going well before it gets there.
Run, run, run.